A hotly contested race for Congress is less than six weeks away. Republican Congressman Mike Boast rallied voters in Albers tonight as he tried to ward off a primary challenge from Darren Bailey. Our political editor, Mark Maxwell, has been covering this contest very closely, Mark. That's right. Tonight we saw Mike Boss play to his strengths. The Marine veteran on stage at a VFW hall with two Texas Republicans highlighting the border and immigration. And you could start to tell that Darren Bailey's negative attacks were getting under his skin. Primaries are tough. Congressman Mike Boss defended himself Wednesday night from Darren Bailey's attacks. You know, my, my opponent is actually has misled voters on my record since the first day he announced. Boss told a packed VFW hall to check his voting record. I voted to build a border wall, protect the Second Amendment, and end the woke nonsense in our schools. The Marine veteran brought a Navy SEAL and Rear Admiral as reinforcements in his primary fight. If it ain't broke, you don't fix it, right? And, and this man should not even have an opponent. Two Texas Republican congressmen backed Bost as a bona fide conservative. Congressman Morgan Luttrell said if Bailey beats Bost... ...would be catastrophic to the party. Former President Trump's physician and initial pick to lead the VA, Ronnie Jackson, criticized Freedom Caucus member Matt Gates, who's backing Bailey. And it's easy to get up there and, you know, and be part of, a, you know, the, uh, the, the no caucus that says no to everything. Where does the race go from here? I don't want to go negative on my opponent. I don't. I know things, but I'm not going to do that. Boss says Republicans should stay united. Our true enemy in these races are Joe Biden and the Democrats. Oh, I'm voting for uh, Mike Boss. This voter made up her mind after talking to Bailey at a separate event. And he wasn't really up on it, you know. And um, I don't know. He's been more an Illinois politician. I think he's a fine gentleman, but he doesn't have the experience and the knowledge of the bureaucracy, especially the Veterans Administration, that Mike has. Retired Air Force Lieutenant Colonel Phil Henning feels as the head of the VA committee, Bost, has his back. Mike has taken personal charge of the committee and they have revamped the claim system and the claim system for disability has been sped up quite a bit in the last eight years. Bost warned voters Bailey would essentially become an outgrowth of the Matt Gates wing of the GOP. More interested in disruption, popularity, or fighting over the speaker's gavel than doing work. And you could see some of those raw divisions still left over from the House on display tonight when Congressman Ronnie Jackson suggested that fellow Texan Chip Roy might need a code red beatdown, like in that movie A Few Good Men. Perhaps not what voters had in mind when they wanted to send a fighter to Congress.